Good Friday morning, everybody. It's finally Friday, and it's the final day of summer. Yes, it is. Good morning. Chris Allen here on this September 22nd on the Sam Channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X. All sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Yep, the final day of the summer season because fall officially begins tomorrow morning at 1.50. A.M. just before 2 a.m. Uh, today is going to feel a lot like summer, like the last few days have, and there's uh, really no big changes, not yet, not until we get on into, looks like late Sunday into Monday, and most of next week is going to be uh, unsettled. It's just looking uh, a bit rainy, but we could use the rain because we're now approaching three and a half inches below year-to-date pacing on rainfall. So we could get some, uh, and we need some wet weather in here for a while. Here's a look at the satellite this morning. We're seeing a lot of clouds streaming off to our west, but not much going on here. There may be a couple of areas of patchy fog in a few places this morning, but other than that, it is a good start. There's a few showers back that way toward Missouri, but none of that is uh, looking to come our direction here today. Everything is going to stay warm and toasty like it has been for the last several days. And uh, I don't really see much of a change today or even tomorrow being the first day of fall. That doesn't mean uh, <laughs> the weather automatically changes. Uh, it has, on a couple of occasions, been coincidental. Uh, I believe the first day of summer was that way, wasn't it? Seems like it was either the first day of spring or summer was just like all of a sudden the switch turned. Uh, but anyway, not this time. It's going to be a day or two delayed before we get that uh, reaction from the change of season. Of course, when the astronomical seasons change, which is this is what's happening we don't see an atmospheric change. We've already had the change, I think. That was weeks ago when we started feeling the cooler air coming in and we got rid of the 90s and all of that. So I think we've we've really technically have been into fall for the last several weeks. Here's a look at mesonet temperatures this morning as of almost 7 a.m. And you can see that uh, we've got a lot of 50s around the area even some 60s back to the west. It's mostly mid-50s here in Bowling Green and all around south-central Kentucky this morning under a mainly clear sky. And like I said, there could be a couple of areas of fog out there in a couple of suspect spots like rivers and lakes and down in the valley areas. Let's take a look uh, now at the 10-day uh, model blender, and you'll be able to see that, yes, we do go back into a very fall-like pattern. Average high this time of the year is 81 now, and it's going to continue to tick down day by day as we get more into fall. The days get shorter, the nights get longer, so there's little opportunity to really get warm. Although today will probably be about the warmest that we see over the next several days. So uh, we hit 85 yesterday. I think we'll do that again today. There, I see no reason not to. Now tomorrow, we will start to feel a little cooler trend taking place. There's not a cold front yet. Not yet anyway. But the trend will be to cool off a little bit more even before we get the rain. So uh, tomorrow being the first full day, pretty much, of fall, will go low 80s. Some of you may still get up into the mid 80s, but just barely. Then we go low 80s again on Sunday. That's when the rain comes in. And then after that, 70s every day next week, looking at 70s. And, and those numbers still may even be a bit overdone. We may not make you know, you see 79, 78, 79, 80. This may be more closer to the mid-70s instead of the upper 70s. And you see the lows down here in the uh, in the 50s, close to 60. So not bad at all. We're looking at some more fall-like weather. 
uh, to head our direction after we get through this little warm spell that we're uh, dealing with right now. Taking a look at the uh, map here, we'll see if we can find some rain that is going to come in. And your eyes are almost immediately drawn to, and speaking of drawn, let me turn on my pen here. Your eyes are almost immediately drawn to this right here. See that? Yes, that's a nice little, it's not, it's, it's a potential tropical system. It starts to get complicated <laughs> with the Weather Service and the National Hurricane Center when they try to classify, you know, these systems. This is a low-pressure system that formed out in the Atlantic, but it's not tropical in nature, okay? So they try to classify this as something different. So this is actually potential tropical cyclone 16. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the official title, Potential Tropical Cyclone 16. It could become Ophelia. That would be the named storm if it starts to take on more uh, tropical characteristics, which it looks like it might before it moves into the coastal Carolinas, but it will. It's going to go kind of like this over the next few days and bring in some rain to the eastern Carolinas, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, on up even into New York and into New England. Um, it's not going to become a hurricane, but it will become a tropical storm. So therefore, it looks like it's going to get a name, and that's Ophelia. So you'll be hearing about her in the next few days. In the meantime, back here at home, it's very quiet. Now, we're not forecast to get any of the rains from Ophelia does it look like you know it's just going to come far enough into the Appalachian Mountains and the mountains will have a you know some effect on it it'll start to cut off some of the moisture and keep it east of us as you can see as that low just then travels as I showed you right on up into New England for us next 24 to 36 hours we are going to stay rain-free until some of this, this is what we're looking for to come in and eventually bring us a chance of rain. But with each run of the forecast models, it keeps slowing everything down just a little bit more. And I think that's some of the push from what is going to become Ophelia to the east. And then the what's left here of that ridge of high pressure is just kind of holding off any kind of rain for us for the time being, even though at times it, you know, it has for several days looked like it wanted to rain. We haven't gotten a drop and we're running behind on rainfall. So eventually I do believe that by as soon as late Sunday night, but especially month, every day next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's rain in the forecast. It's not going to be a lot of rain, but just enough to wet the ground and bring us uh, you know, some wet weather, which is something we need. Okay, here's a look at the uh, surface map for the next several days. You see what is going to become Ophelia moving into the coastal Carolinas and Virginia, Maryland, and all those locations to the east. Little disturbance here and there over our area, but just not much is going to come from it. All we're going to see is a few additional clouds. Here we go into early Saturday morning. Uh, nothing going on here. Maybe a little patchy fog. There's all the rain from Ophelia to the east. Here we go into Saturday afternoon, into Saturday evening and Sunday morning. It's kind of the squeeze play here. Kentucky is right there in between the system to the west and Ophelia to the east. And then it just, you know, here we go. One o'clock Monday afternoon. Finally. We start to see rain pushing in. Ophelia moves away and allows us to get a little bit of moisture in here. Good coverage, I think, um, Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday afternoon and even Thursday. So again, like I said, much of next week is going to be unsettled. It's not going to rain the whole time. It's not going to be stormy. It's just going to be showery, occasional showers. Perhaps maybe a thunderstorm somewhere in there down the pike, but 
Um, it's a little bit of rain, but we could use a lot more. All right, that'll do it for this Friday edition of the Sam Channel Weather. I'm on the radio right now until 10 o'clock at Sam 100.7, and I'll be on your TV tonight at News 40 WNKY at 5, 6, and 10. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching.